Hi guys, this is Mike, and today we're going to be talking about doing basic morphological searching using Logos Bible software. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the best practices, a few of the shortcuts you can take, uh, and we're going to hopefully be building uh, a firm foundation on which we can actually add additional videos at a later date. So I hope you enjoy today. Let's go ahead and get started. The easiest way to get started with a new morphological search is to open a new search panel. So we're going to go ahead and do that now up here in the top left hand corner with a new search, uh, the search icon. And make sure that you set your search to morph. So this stands for morphological search. So once you've got your search type set, you're also going to want to set your search range. So notice right now mine says all morph text in all passages in the Lexham Hebrew Bible with Logos Hebrew Morphology. So the morphology options will be set according to which Bible you are searching. So right now since I'm searching the Lexham Hebrew Bible, if I click the morphology option it gives me two options, either Aramaic or Logos Hebrew Morphology, because these are the two morphological databases attached to this particular Hebrew text. If I change this Hebrew text to Anderson Forbes uh, uh, Hebrew Bible, notice that my morphology also changes. Now I have the Anderson Forbes Aramaic morphology or Hebrew morphology as opposed to the Logos Hebrew morphology. This is because this particular Hebrew Bible is tied to this particular morphological database. So keep that in mind when you're doing your searching. The individual Bible or group of Bibles that you're searching will have a specific uh, Hebrew or Greek morphological database attached to them. Uh, also, one of the big things you need to think about is that your reverse interlinears within Logos Bible software, like the ESV or the NIV or the NASB, these are all tied to Logos morphology, so Aramaic, Greek, and Hebrew. So just keep that in mind when you're building things like visual filters or when you're searching the text that these English reverse interlinears are tied to the Logos morphologies and not to other databases. So let's go ahead and set our morphological um, text. So I'm going to actually do a quick search of the Greek New Testament. So I'm going to set mine to the Nestle Alon 28th edition and notice that the NA28 is tied to Logos Greek morphology. So this is going to automatically be giving us our searchable database. Notice also within an empty search panel you have search helps down below. So this is simple things like type G colon or H colon to type Greek or Hebrew. We'll talk a little bit more about that here shortly. Type an at symbol to start a morpholog morphology term. Once again we'll talk about that here in just a second. As well as it gives you helpful links for more helps on searching like the internal logos help file as well as to a really helpful online user ed wiki page. And then below that you have all the basics of morphological searching. So we're going to talk about a few of these things today, uh, but we're not going to go super in depth. We're just going to say this is how you can do the basics of searching. So there are really uh, about three ways that you can enter a morphological search term into a, uh, the syntax line for a morph search within Logos. One of the easiest ways is just to simply use the smart search feature within Logo 6. Now keep in mind this is a Logo 6 only feature, so if you're using one of the older engines this is not going to work. So just make sure you upgrade to the Logo 6 engine for free. So the simple things, so let's say I'm going to search for all of the instances of the Lemma Cosmos within the Greek New Testament. So all I need to do is just transliterate out the word Cosmos. And in the drop down menu, since I'm in a morph search, it's going to automatically bring to the top of my smart search morphological instances. Now notice you'll have two different instances for Cosmos here. One has this little circle icon and the other has this little square root icon. The circle icon stands for lemma. So anywhere you see that circle icon, that means lemma within Logos. The square root icon, as you've probably already in, you know, intuited, is for the root. So I can search either on the lemma or the root for Cosmos. So I'm going to go ahead and select lemma and notice what happens. It automatically fills in the proper syntax for finding a lemma within a search. And if we go down just below to the basics, notice that lemma is found by typing lemma colon and then the lemma. So I can run this search and this is going to find all of the instances of Cosmos within the Greek New Testament regardless of what morphological form it's found in. So you can see here we've got the genitive, uh, here we've got uh, just the regular form and the nominative, uh, the dative, so on and so forth. Another way that you can find a lemma within a morphological search is to type the letter G followed by a colon and this is once again down in our search helps and then type the transliterated lemma again, Cosmos, and this gives us a smart drop down menu where it's giving us all Greek options here. We can once again select lemma and that does the same thing. Or if we want we can simply type lemma 
colon cosmos and select that once again from the drop down notice we only have one option available to us since we are a little bit more defined or if you're not a big fan of typing in English you can go ahead and switch to a Greek keyboard and type out the word cosmos in Greek and that's going to automatically give you the options there as well so all of these were going to enter in the same data into a search for a morphology text. So if you're curious about how to actually add and type in a Greek keyboard, you can go ahead and reference one of my other videos for adding Greek keyboards to either Windows or Mac, and you can find the link up there in the top right hand corner. So now that we've run this search, let's say we want to dig in a little bit deeper. Let's say we want to find all of the instances of the genitive form of cosmos because we want to find, typically this is translated, of the world. We want to find all of the instances where that phrase appears, but in the Greek. So how do we find just the genitive forms of cosmos as opposed to all of the forms? Right now we're just searching on a general lemma, so this is finding all of them, but we can refine further by typing an at symbol at the end of our morphological term. Just like in our search helps where it said type an at symbol for a morphology term, that's what we're doing. We're adding morphology to this lemma. So now we can say, oh, let's select our part of speech. And notice when we select our part of speech, it fills in and gives us additional options. So one of those is case. So we can select genitive as our case and then run the search. And this will find all of the genitive instances of the noun cosmos. One of the other things we can do within a basic morphology search is we can add a version to our search results. So let's say we're not a Greek wizard and we can't sight read all of these verses and we need a little bit of English helps. Well, as long as we have our verses window set to verses, so let's say we want to add a new version, we can click add versions and then type, let's say I want to open the Lexham English Bible. I can type LEB and select, it'll automatically select that Bible version and then hit enter and then it will fill in with another Bible version. And notice it has all of the English words corresponding to our Greek word. Notice that most of these are of the world because that's a common translation of the genitive of the word of the lemma cosmos. So you can do the same thing for Hebrew as well. So let's go ahead and delete our search syntax and change our uh, Bible being searched to the Hebrew Bible. I'll change it to the Lexham Hebrew Bible. Notice once again this automatically changes our morphology. That's the right morphology for this particular database. And let's say I want to find all of the instances of the lemma Baruch in Hebrew. Well, I can type the three letter root in the English you know, equivalent. Find the proper lemma, that's to praise or to bless, not to kneel. I want the second homonym, and these are pulled from the Hebrew Aramaic lexicon of the Old Testament in case you're wondering how it's divvying these out. And that will automatically fill in the proper syntax, and then I can run that search just like I did with the Greek. If I want to add a morphology data to this, let's say I want to find all of the imperative forms of Baruch, I can type the at symbol at the end. Once again, select verb, and this time we're going to select imperative, and then run that search. And notice that within Logos, you don't have to know that a question mark stands for an individual character wildcard. You just select the options from the drop down menu, and Logos automatically fills those in for you. So that's about as easy as it is to find and to search a morphological database. Now we can go into more uh, detail with this at a later video, but I just wanted to use this initial video just to get you started on how you can search morphologically tagged texts for particular lemmas as well as morphological forms of those lemmas. If you really like this video and you'd like to see more, make sure that you hit the like button down below. Or if you want to watch other videos from this series or from other video series that I produce, go ahead and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button here. This will notify you immediately as soon as I post a new video that it's available. So I hope you have a blessed day today. Thanks so much for tuning in and enjoy mining the depths of scripture using Logos. Until next time.